Hello Calvary Kids, it's John and Lucy. And we're here to do some baking with you today. We're gonna to make something special for Easter. They're called Resurrection Rolls. And for this, we'll need about five ingredients. You'll need your mommy and daddy because we're gonna be working with the oven. And before we get started, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for Easter. It's the most wonderful time of the year when we remember how you rose from the dead. And when you rose from the dead, you conquered death and you gave us the ability to go to heaven with you too. And I pray, Lord, that you would keep us safe as we're baking in the kitchen now and that you would help us to rejoice in this wonderful Easter season. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, like I said, we're making resurrection rolls and we're gonna need about five ingredients. So, first one is we're gonna need some marshmallows. Right. These are regular sized marshmallows. Next, we're going to need about four tablespoons of butter. We're going to need one tablespoon of cinnamon mixed in with three tablespoons of sugar. And finally, you're going to need some. Oh, Lucy. I forgot the crescent rolls. Okay, did it. Where are they? Down in the basement. In the basement? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. No. Oh, found them. Got it. Okay. So you're going to need some Pillsbury crescent rolls. You can find these in the refrigerated section of the grocery store. So. What's the first thing we need to do, Lucy? Uh, break open this. Break open this? Yeah. Or how about let's turn on the oven first. So we're going to go over to the oven, and we're going to set the oven for 375 degrees. All right, so now the oven's getting warm. Are you ready? So let's open up our crescent rolls. Do you know how to do that? Yeah, sure. Okay. She's peeling off the paper, and then she's pushing down on that seam in the middle. So sometimes it says take a spoon and push down on the seam, so try that. Whoa! Very nice. Whoa, so much. Okay. Now, when we open that up, we're going to see that there are eight triangles in that package of crescent rolls, and I've already unrolled them here. So Lucy, let's work from the ones we've already unrolled okay. to save some time. Now what are we gonna do? And uh, you're gonna put the, the afterward, you're gonna put the sugar in it. Sugar, okay, well let's put the sugar, while we're waiting for that to melt, let's put the sugar into our bowl. Okay, oh, it's already done. There it goes. Now be careful kids, this is the part to have mommy and daddy help. All right, very good. All right. And now Lucy's gonna mix that up. All right, so now, what we're going to talk about is that the marshmallow represents the body of Jesus. And when Jesus died on the cross, he had two friends, Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea. And they asked Pontius Pilate for Jesus' body. And they took his body off the cross and they prepared it for burial. And the way they prepared it for burial is they would have oil and spices. So the sugar and the cinnamon represents our spices. And the Oil is represented by the butter. And so here, Lucy is preparing the marshmallow. Very good. Let's set this aside now. And let's get out, keep the spoon in there. And let's get out one of our crescent rolls. And what Lucy's gonna do now is take the marshmallow and put it inside the crescent roll and wrap it up nice and tight. Now the crescent roll represents the strips of cloth 
that Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus would have wrapped Jesus' body in. Now the important thing here is to pinch the corners of the roll nice and tight so there's no gaps anywhere. Very nice. So let's get started with the second one. Pinch the corners nice and tight. Okay, but let me get these laid out. So, we've got eight of our little resurrection rolls on a greased cookie sheet. I've already pre-greased this with some butter so that they won't stick. Okay. Now, that's what those look like. Ooh. So now, Lucy, we are ready to put this into the oven. Now kids, you're gonna want mom and dad to help you with this part, okay? Because that oven is going to be hot. Mm -hmm. So here we go. You. All right. Okay, so now we have about 10 to 12 minutes while the rolls are baking in the oven. And I'd like to read you a book, Lucy. Would you like to read this book with me? It's called The Easter Story. It's by Patricia Pingree. When we celebrate Easter, we remember that God gave us his son, Jesus Christ, to be our savior. Jesus made sick people well. He even made the dead live again. Jesus chose 12 men to be his disciples. He told them that God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to die for us. But some people didn't want to hear about God. They didn't want to listen to Jesus. On Palm Sunday, Jesus rode into Jerusalem. People shouted, Hosanna to our King! Later, Jesus and his disciples ate the Passover supper. Jesus washed their feet to show how much he loved them. After supper, they went to a garden to pray, but the men who didn't like Jesus sent soldiers to arrest him. Jesus was sent to die. His disciples were very sad, but Jesus had told them that he would rise after three days. On the third day, women went to Jesus' tomb the tomb was open. Jesus was not there. That night, Jesus' disciples were in a locked room. Suddenly, Jesus was there. He was alive. Jesus said, go and tell everyone that if a person believes in me, they will be saved and they will live forever. This is the Easter story that Jesus is alive today and because he died for us, we will live too. The end. Was that a nice book? Mm -hmm. Whoa, looks like we still have about three minutes. What do you think we could do? Sing a song? Sing a song? Like an Easter song? That's a great idea. Hmm, now if I only had my guitar. Whoa! Wow, wow. okay, I've got, ah. now if I only had a pick. There you go, Daddy. Oh, thank you, Lucy. I'm gonna bring over my stool since I don't have a strap on this guitar. Here we go. Ready? Alive. Alive.
Oh, that's awesome. More. More? Okay, Lucy, I think it's time. I peeked in the oven and they're golden brown. Are you ready to bring them out? Yeah? Should I use my bare hands to do that? No. No? What should I use? An oven mitt. An oven mitt. Good idea. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go get it. Whoa! Very interesting thing happened here. Look at this. Ooh, this is so hot. Why don't we give these a few minutes to cool and then we'll, we'll eat one. How's that sound? Okay, so don't touch it. All right, it's cooled a little bit, so let's get one off. I'm gonna be careful not to touch the hot pan. Let's put it on our plate. All right, and I'll set these aside and we can take a look at, thank you, Lucy. So now look at our, look at this, guys. That represents the tomb that Jesus' body was placed in. And look what happens here. Ready? Here we go. Oh, what's on the inside? Nothing. Nothing, it's empty. Look at this, guys. The inside of the tomb is empty. Just like on Easter Sunday so many years ago. Are you ready to eat one now? Yeah. I'll okay, you take that one or this one? That one? Okay. Here we go. Mmm. What do you think? Good. Super good. Okay, kids. So that's our cooking lesson for today. So grab your mom and dad. Grab the ingredients that we need. Remember, we need large marshmallows. We need crescent rolls. We need butter, sugar, cinnamon, and get cooking. Thank you for helping me, Lucy. I love you. <laughs>